Exactly. You know, it was interesting. Like I despise Bob, who comes here, by the way. Yeah. But I was actually listening. I was hearing him, and uh, there he is, Bob. 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 Quickly, one thing, one thing. So basically, no, no, not talk to you. I just, I just wanted to mention something that basically we was talking about. Wait, wait, wait. Am I being invited into this conversation? The or am I just here as a tool? <laughs> no, no, no. I just, just, no, no, no. You're not a tool. I'm just going to. So I can stay, right? You can stay. You're just not going to be offended. No, I'm not going to no, be offended. No, no, no. Not for five minutes. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Me and I'm staying. No, you can stay. It's just, okay. just on the topic because he was mentioning something about the Christians and the Muslims should come together against the current forces of evil that we have today. My dear friend here, we've been talking about this for the past two years, yeah. and I overheard your conversation over there where you was talking about the. You know that in Christianity, um, there is no such thing as blessing gate. Yeah, there's no such thing. So I, it just it just goes in ties ties in with what we was talking about. And I did say very clearly, and I'll say it here as well. I said I despise you, and I'm sure you despise me. But the no, point no. is this. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, because he said something that's not true here. Okay, let me finish he, my said, he said that I despise him, right? This is the difference between Christianity okay. and Islam. Okay, he loves no, me. No, listen, yeah, listen, yeah. no, listen. It's okay. true. It's true. It's heartbreaking. It is true. Yeah. Let him I genuinely love this man. Oh. Why do I love this man? Is it because is it because I love this man because he's a Muslim? No. Islam stinks. As an ideology, it's sickening. However, this man, regardless of his religion, is made in the same image of God that I am made and all of you are made. And it is that image that I love. I cannot hate the image of God, and the image of God resides in everybody, regardless of their ethnicity, their religion, their sexuality, their physical ability they should all be loved but not every ideology should be loved nazism should not be loved fascism should not be loved and islam should not be loved because these are horrendous ideologies so i separate your ideology from you i love you i don't despise you you despise me because islam teaches you to despise me and that's the difference between our religions okay, thank you. No, brothers 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 one second one second he spoke by his invitation i invited him he spoke and I would like to speak, please. Yeah, I've got a mouth as well. Now, I invited him to mention the cause that our cause can be one. Because Allah says in the Quran, Surah Maida, meaning come together towards righteousness, which is what we have a common enemy. Okay, that was one thing. Number two, I'm a person who likes to be direct. I don't like to sugarcoat. Yeah, I'll say again, I despise you. You know why? Now, do I did I say that to you? No. Have I said that to you? Okay, now if my religion teaches that, are you all Christians? Then I should despise all of you. Now I want to make a differentiation. Now, in Islam, I've listened to you, please allow me to speak about it. I know you tried it. Okay, now I don't despise you, I don't despise him. Now, if somebody, for example, has been hostile towards me, be it um, be verbally and in different ways, I personally believe if Bob had the power, he would execute me in this park. I believe that with all my heart. Now, do I believe you would do that? No. So that's what Allah tells us in the Quran. Sawa. Yeah? The people of the book are not the same. So I know you are not like him. So when I say I despise him, he's turned it into a, I love him. We know very well his love would be, yeah? yeah. So therefore, the conversation was about something else, but he had to say, all I wanted to say was that I heard your speech over there and our common goal is the same. And it's good that I see Christians waking up to this reality, then rather than the animosity towards Islam, we can come together, maybe on this cause. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. If there's any last you words you'd like to, to say. To that before I reply to that? And you can I have mean, the last statement. I, I'm, I'm done. Well, yeah, I don't. done. <laughs> Seems like you've got a lot of history, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree yeah. with what you're saying. Right. Yeah, exactly. But I would say we can agree, and then we can fight. But yeah, like you, you know, said, what did you say in the beginning? You, you said know, let's um, let's let's all you know join up, fight, and then let's debate the Trinity. Exactly. Let's then debate. You know, exactly. it's, a you know it's a good point. It's a good point. Okay. So so allow me to reply because. With respect, are you, are you a Christian yourself? Yeah. Okay. Pentecostal. Okay. So with respect, there's a lot of naivety amongst Christians because a lot of Christians aren't educated about the 1400 years of Christian experience under Islamic law, right? We, we just don't know. No, people do not know because we're not taught, right? I've got friends who belong to the Coptic church. The Coptic church is the church in Egypt. I've got friends in the Assyrian church. This is the church of Iraq and Syria and Lebanon. I've got Christian friends. A Muslim actually became a Christian. She's a Palestinian, right? She's become a Christian recently, right? Let me speak. She became a Christian. Her family kicked her out of her home and now no want nothing more to do with her. Christians in, in Syria, Christians in Egypt, go and speak to them. Don't take my word for it. Go and visit a Coptic church. Go and visit an Assyrian church. Don't take my word for it. Don't take Ali's word for it. Go and visit those Christians yourself and ask them, 
have you suffered under Sharia law? And every one of them will tell you yes. Why? Because those churches have been persecuted under Sharia law. Now, you know the Bible, I hope, brother, as much as I do. The Bible teaches a Christian that we must stand up against injustice. That we're not supposed to let injustice run roughshod over the world. That means that I make a distinction between the Islamist, someone who wants to impose Sharia law on this world, and a genuine Muslim. A Muslim who isn't interested in imposing Sharia law on this world. And when I meet a genuine, sincere Muslim, I can love them, I can unite with them on good, godly things about like opposing abortion or opposing gay marriage or opposing gay adoption, for examples. However, when I meet an Islamist, an Islamist, like many of the Muslims in this park are Islamists, who want to impose Sharia law over my head and turn me into a second-class citizen. Of course, as a Christian, I must oppose them. I must oppose them. Does that mean that I'd execute Ali? No. I'd probably have him banished from the country, actually. <laughs> oh, good, good. Exiled, exiled. I would. Okay, good, good. But you know what I admire? One thing I admire about Bobby, yeah? is this honesty yeah because some christians come and say yeah we love and even though you did that slight with that I do love you. but 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 you know what actually we had a discussion before a long time ago and i said look and he was very honest about it if it's going to be in the battlefield let's believe no one's throwing flowers at anybody but the fact that you said you will exile me it's look i admire that because at the end of the in, in what context even though it's against myself at least you're being true to your word now i just want to you, you made some claims i just want to address those here yeah? this is the treaty that Umar ibn Khattab had with the Christians and the Jews. So he said that the Christians living under a land here, go look in history. I'm going to give you a book, it's a book called The Martyrs of Cordoba. Please read that book here and see how the Christians were living in those lands and how some troublemaking Christians came about insulting the Prophet in public. Martyrs of Cordoba. Now I'm going to read you the treaty here and tell me if this seems like we want to uh, butcher you guys. This is the protection which the servant of Allah, Amir al-Mu'mineen, grants to the people of Palestine. Thus, protection is for their lives, property, church, cross for the healthy and the sick and for all their co religionists in this way that their churches shall not be turned into dwelling houses nor will the, nor will they be pulled down nor an injury will be done to them or all their enclosures nor to their cross and nor will anything be deducted from their wealth no restrictions should be made regarding their religious ceremonies no jew will be no jew will be allowed to stay along with them this was a request made by the christians themselves by the way yeah the christians did not want the jews to live with them because the Jews have been heavily persecuted by the Christians, yeah, the Crusaders, yeah. Here, the ruling scene is that Islam is telling them live in harmony together. And it continues. This is a treaty, meaning one of the biggest things we despise in the Islam is what? The Trinity. It says we are not even allowed to touch your crosses. Yeah, because you believe it's We are not. Yeah. We do, yeah. but because you're people of the book, like idol, idol worshippers, Islam says you either, either accept Islam or you fight them. Yeah. The Christians and the Jews are allowed to pay jizya or in form of the tax. Yes, the yeah, tax yeah. you have to pay, yeah? Or you come and join us against a common enemy, okay. then you don't need to pay jizya. For example, that is all I have to say. What was your name? Isaac. Isaac, it was nice talking to you. Nice. Bob, again, thanks for your uh, take on the no matter. Worries. I'm not going to shake your hand because I despise yeah, you. See, you. Uh, the I have to be no consistent. I don't want to be fake. Why do you want to be fake? Honor I don't want to. No, thank you very much. Man. You will exile Very me. You will exile me of the land. But the difference is, he <laughs> yes. sees no dignity in me, no. to be honest. The people of the book are not the same. I respect right. you. You're a gentleman. You've right. been <laughs> kind. He has not, so therefore. Anyway, thanks for your uh, take, Bob. It was a pleasure. Brothers and sisters, that was it, inshallah. It was an interesting discussion. Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.